Hey guys, it's Tom, Old Man Reefer again. Today I'm going to show you how I feed my reef tank. I'm going to show you how much I feed the fish. I'm going to tell you how many times a week I feed them. And I'm going to show you how I feed my coral. If you're new to the channel, stay and watch the whole video. You may learn something from it and see what you think in the end. If you like what you see, subscribe and hit the bell. <laughs> Let me show you how I feed my reef tank step by step. If you've been following me, I've added SPS to the tank and I got to be very critical about how much and what I feed. So here's some of the tools I use to feed with. All right, so I keep my frozen food in here, the freezer. Keep it in a little Ziploc. I keep my Mandarin dragnet food in here. My Mandarin dragnet was aquacultured. So this is what the vendor was feeding before I received it. This is San Francisco Bay brand. I don't have the box, but you can see it here. And they come in cubes. And what I've done is I've cut the cubes down to feeding sizes one feeding size for my fish in my aquarium is this big. I have four fish in my tank, a mandarin dragnet, a clown fish, clown goby, and a blue spotted goby. To break the cubes up it's pretty easy. I get my trusty knife and I go one. From one cube I get six feedings. And I use this small container for my mandarin dragnet. And this, I put a very small amount in. But that's about how much I put in. Now, the other fish will eat this too. This I'll use to feed the corals. I broadcast feed as well as direct feeding with this. And this is the cup I'll use for the direct feeding. And I'll show you what I do with this in a minute. Now what I do now, guys, is I take a little aquarium water, I pour a little of this into here, and let that sit for a few minutes. I also leave this in here and let this melt in there for a few minutes. Normally the fish are going crazy now when I take the lid off and they see me moving around to eat, but I think the camera and this whole thing must have them scared. The clownfish is always up here. My next step is I don't like to wait too long for this piece of frozen food to melt. So I use this little rigid tube to break it up. This is what I use the shrimp net for. I pour it right into the shrimp net and all the packing juices go through. I go one step further, guys. This is RODI water and I just have a hole in the top and I just squirt a little bit in to rinse the food. Just before I feed the fish, I feed the coral with this. It's coral amino. I put seven drops in. It's amino acids. There's no fat. There's no excess stuff in it. And I found that it's coloring my corals quite well. I've been doing that for about two weeks now. Comes in a little bottle like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I'll feed the fish with this. I turn the thing inside out and I drop that in. I don't do it all at once, as you can see. I put a, uh, enough in. Sometimes it's hard to judge exactly how much uh, you need to feed, so I do it a little at a time and see how much floats around and see how they do with it. If we get lucky, we might see the mandarin show up over here. He's conditioned for when this food comes in. This is where I feed the pellet food down to the bottom. So he may show up over there. There's the mandarin. And I just put this in and squeeze it down. Look at that clownfish. Squeeze it down in that area. My feeding schedule, guys, is once per day. Now this, from corals, 
this is not once per day. This is twice per week, midweek and on Sunday. This is reef roids. I direct feed my zoanthids and my paleos. I put a little aquarium water in here. Not that much. I put a quarter of a teaspoon in here. I'm going to go right down and I'm going to kind of gently blow it right into them. That's it for today, guys. Feeding may seem like such a simple thing, but it's very critical in a nano reef. That's why I added it to my list of videos that I wanted to put out there. Subscribe, hit the bell, and have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot.